today I'm here with a new video and today I am here, I think this will be the first at least, the first part in my favorites for 2019. For last year and the year before I did my base favorites in the video, so I talked about my base favorites and I did, I look, with my base favorites. So that is what we are going to do today, so I am going to do my base makeup with you and talk a little bit about my favorite base products this year so I think we just get started. Okay so for this year if you haven't if you didn't know I have been on a low buy and with my base products I have only bought refills so this year I haven't tried that much but I have tried some things but I'm going to talk about the things I have liked this year and some of these I have like only liked because it's the only base product I've used because refills so yeah we're going to start with primer and for this year I like this I think it's really good this primer but there are more affordable options I think this is a little bit too expensive but it is really good and that is the Smash, Smash, Smash box Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and this you can also have over your makeup but I only use it as a primer and I really like this I like primer sprays because they feel nice so let's spritz this I usually let this sit for a little while so I can talk about my foundation favorite for this year and it has been an old OG favorite of mine and that is Lumienes Blur Foundation. I have talked about this a lot, it feels like. This is my all-time favorite foundation. This is from Lumiene that is a Finnish brand but it's really popular in Sweden. And this is a medium coverage foundation that is supposed to blur out your imperfections and yeah. I really like this. This is my third one, I think. I think I ran out of one of these this year. And this is almost empty as well. And this is... The only thing I don't like is the shade range. It is a very poor shade range. Uh, both on the dark side, deep and dark, and also on the light side. This is the lightest one with natural undertone. This is too dark for me. So... Another favorite I have had this year is Lightning Drops, as always. And I just want to recommend the one from H&M. This is Costume Color Drops Lightning. These are really good and it's really affordable. The only thing I don't like with this is the packaging is not good at all. Um, mine is empty. So I have used another one, the latest, and that is from The Body Shop. I really like this thin, this one as well, but I think the one from H&M, it's better price and they do the exact same thing. And I usually mix half and half. And both of these lightning drops isn't supposed to change like the texture or anything with the foundation. It is only going to be like... Um, Changing if the foundation, for example, has SPF or something, that it can make it a little bit less with SPF. And I usually do like this, yes, because I want like same amount of foundation in my whole face. And I am not doing any eyeshadow today, so I'm going to take the foundation all over my eyes. I usually don't. And the sponge I am using is from a Swedish brand that is called Isadora. I have tried this sponge before and then I thought it was just okay. But I really like it and it is pretty cheap and very so good. And I usually go around my nose a little bit more. 
just to take away the redness. And the one thing I love about this foundation, it's glowy and I like glowy foundations. So my favorite concealer for this year is a concealer that is now longer available. I'm going to show you some products that is completely gone, <laughs> completely run out of. And my absolute favorite concealer for this year has been this one from Viva, Le Viva La Diva. It is a Swedish brand, it's their concealer with argan oil. I love this. This is the best concealer I have ever tried. It's lightweight, it is hydrating, it is amazing. But this shade that I have used is no longer available. I hate them for that. But if you are darker than me, you can still try this beautiful concealer. So this has been a really big favorite of mine. If I can get a hold of this shade again, I would buy like 10 bottles. This has been amazing. So I'm not going to use a concealer today because this is all out. So I think we're going to powders. And the two powders I have used, like only used this year, is Lumines Nordic Chic. This is a translucent sheer finish loose powder. And the other one is the Infinite Filter by Linda Holberg. I've talked about this in my favorites room 2018 and I still love it. This one I use around my eyes to set my concealer. So I'm just going to set the foundation I put around my eyes because I think it's going to crease on my eyelids if I don't. And it's already starting to do that. And to do this I use a little powder puff from Linda Holberg. I love this one. I have three of them. And I just put it down. And this is like my form of baking. And... One thing with this powder, it's is this is in the shade light, but I feel that it like if I have it on my whole face, it's making it a little bit too dark for me. So I only using it around my eyes, and usually the concealer I use is lightening up the uh, around my eyes. So it's good that this is a little bit darker deepens down the things that is under. So for the face powder I do a little new technique that I haven't done before and I'm going to show you that. And also I'm using this brush from Real Techniques. This is the powder brush. This is the best powder brush I have ever used. It is my absolute favorite powder brush of all powder brush brushes. Jesus, it's hard. So okay, to putting on powder. I do like this. This is a little sponge that is in the powder and I have a dry face so if I could choose I don't want to set my foundation but this foundation I need to set but I don't want too much powder so I just shake it and take the powder that is on the puff and press it on my face. And then I go in with this brush and just swirl it around. And for me, this has really been working good. I don't feel dry, I don't feel cakey, it's just amazing. And it sets the foundation so good. Sometimes I go in a little bit extra on my mouth with a powder puff just to be on the safe side. But rest of the face this really do the works. For contour I think since I got this product it has been like the only thing I've used for contour and I love this so much. So it's from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and it is oh, this one that I'm pretty sure is named Sculpt. If you have seen my videos and scroll down to my description to see what I use on my face, you see that Sculpt is like the only shade I have used for contour since I got this. And for that I love to use this brush. I talked about this in my favorites from 2018 as well. This is from Real Techniques. It's their faux blue, I think. And it is B2. And I just swirl it a little and then just go under my cheekbones. 
and I still don't like too much contour. I never have and I think I never will. I just want something. And I think it's... I haven't hit pan on this, but it looks like the pan is under there because it has two circles in it, so I guess it should be the shape of the pan, but still nothing. So, over to blush. And I was thinking, should I really sh take this blush as my favorite? Because this is not a blush blush. It's not... It's meant to be a blush, but it's not like selling as a brush. And it is from the Infinite palette by Linda Holberg. We are going to talk about this much in this video. I have really loved to use Andromeda as a blush. Also Pinwheel, but Andromeda has been my favorite blush to use this year. I have used a lot of other blushes as well, but this one, this is my go-to blush. And for blush brush I have found a new favorite this year and this is from Linda Hallberg. it's the free 10 I love to use this for my blush so that is what we're going to do today and I don't like much blush either so I love my blushes to be like not that pigmented so I can build them up so I don't like end up with just super pink chic. So over to highlight and I'm going to stay in the Linda Holberg land and I have loved to use Milk Away. This has been a favorite of mine for a long time for highlight but this year I have really like I love this so much and I am waiting to hit pan in this. I think it's really close. And I love to take this palette with me when I'm traveling because it has everything I want. And do you see this? I really hope you can. And it's the same with this highlight. It is like as with a br blush, as with a brush. It can be like just a little hint of it or you can really build it up. And I love that. And I also love this brush from Linda Harburg that it's a V06. It is my favorite highlighter brush. Okay and then the last thing to my base almost is my eyebrows and we are still going to use this one. We're going to use Cigar. As you can see I got a really big pan in this. I started to use this when I didn't have any other powder to my eyebrows and I was like okay I'm going to use this once just for now and I really got stuck with it. I have always loved the Anastasia Deep Rock Made but this one is like amazing and before I didn't like to use powder on my eyebrows but this year I have really liked it because it feels like the brows is more natural and I do my eyebrows when I go to work. It's the only thing I do. So I want them to be a little bit more natural. And I think it is a pretty good color for me. And do you see why I do my eyebrows? And I actually don't know what I'm going to do when this shade... When it's empty. When I have used it all up because... I can't buy this palette just for one shade to use in my eyebrows, so... And another thing to my eyebrows that I really loved is this one. This is also from Lumine. Yes, I love a lot of their things. And this is the Eyebrow Shaping Wax in the color Blonde. Light Blonde? Blonde. This is empty though, so I can't use this today because it's like nothing left, but I really really like this. I think it's vegan and it is affordable and it really does its jobs. It is it is a little bit color and I think if you don't have like full brows, because I have pretty full brows, I don't think you will love this because it as doesn't add like any volume, it adds it shapes them and gives a little bit of color.
color but it's no fiber in it but I really love this and I'm thinking about buying this again. So no thing on my eyebrows. So one of the last things to do is use a setting spray and I love the same setting spray that I loved last year and that is the NYX Dewy Finish. This is just amazing. I love it so much. This is my second bottle I think. I have used a little other setting sprays in between but this one I love so much and it really keeps my makeup in place I think and it feels really good and it makes everything melt together. So let's spritz again. And another thing I have loved this year is to take a little sun feather and just let it dry. My boyfriend, he doesn't get this. He's like, why are you doing this? And I'm like, because it feels good. And if you have taken too much setting spray, I think this helps really good. So, like that, I feel no dryness. I feel really good. Everything looks really good. I got a little bit of dewiness to my face. I really like it. So... The last thing I want to talk about that is also empty that I'm not going to show you on but I have had this for like half of 2019 I think and that is my new favorite mascara and I haven't bought a new one because of my low buy and I'm going to use up all my other mascaras mascara mascara and that is NYX worth the hype this is my absolute favorite mascara ever I love this so much. It gives length to the lashes and it holds really good and it also adds a little bit of volume. It's easy to work with and I really really love this. I'm going to buy this when I'm all out of mascaras because this is... I think I want to say it is the best mascara I've ever tried. I love this one. So yeah, that was all for my base favorites of 2019. I really hope you liked this. First I was thinking, should I do like the top 5 highlighters of the year? But then I was like, no, I'm keeping it to my absolute favorite products, the things I love to do my base with. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I will write all the brushes I have used and all the products down in the description if you don't if you don't know all the products I have talked with about and uh, with about. So yeah, it is going to come an uh, eyeshadow favorites and also a lip favorites video, I think. And then a throwback to 2018's favorite. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of favorite videos now in December. I really hope you liked it. I love to watch. It's like the best thing with December. I am not so happy about that Sweden is like a dark hole. I am not that excited about Christmas because I don't think Christmas is that fun. I am not excited to put up Christmas de decoration because I think they are pretty ugly. Um, so <laughs> when YouTube is filling up with like recaps of the year, I love that. It's my favorite thing about December. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. Have you tried any of these favorites? Do you like them or do you hate them? And what has been your favorites throughout this year when it comes to base products? And I really hope that you are looking forward to more favorites videos this, this month. I got a Snapchat. So yeah, <laughs> I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing... Don't forget to... What? I really hope you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe. That was I that is what I'm always saying. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!